Iman is the most famous half Persian comedian in the world. He's the only one in the world. Kiko. Okay, I'm excited to be here. How is everybody tonight? I want to start by saying Happy New Year. Say it with me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good, good. Welcome to the economic forecast meeting. We're going to get some good advice. I know nobody's here to laugh. You want to know where to put your money this year. Uh, but I'll tell you some of the economic results I know about. Right now, there is a 90% reduction in curtain from last year on the backdrop here. So <laughs> last year, it went at least all the way to the side, so this is good. How many people saw me perform at the Irvine Improv Comedy Club last night? Oh, good. I've got bad news for you. They're going to be the same jokes tonight. There's not enough time for turnover. I was raised in Reno, Nevada. Now many of you have seen me before, but Reno, Nevada does not have a big, strong, beautiful Persian population like you guys tonight. So give yourselves a hand for putting something together here. People from Iran moved to Irvine. It had the same letters, just about, just a few differences. It had the I, the R, the N. Who cares the I, we don't care. The I, the R, the N, I, R, the I, N, we moved to Irvine. It's the same thing. And, and, and my dad, he doesn't care that I make fun of him, he just doesn't like that I do comedy. In, in the Persian community, there's really a few jobs you're allowed to do. Doctor, lawyer, engineer, and they just had a council meeting, they allowed two new ones. Real estate and architecture, just this year. Wow. Every year, every year, one more, one more, and that's it. So when I told my dad I wanted to be a comedian, he was upset. Because he did not risk his life to come from Iran to America, work every day for me to tell jokes. In, in the Iranian culture, for those of you who don't know, the firstborn son is very important. I'm the firstborn. I was always his number one son. Once I announced I'm going to do comedy, I became number three favorite son in my life. He said, you are not my third favorite son. You are third. He took the H out of third. Third. You are third. So I'm third favorite, which is weird because I only have one brother. My third. I go, who's second? He goes, we leave this spot open in case anybody else joined the family. They can just, you are terrible. You are terrible. But I love my dad. My dad has ideas for me. My dad always comes home with a new idea. He read the newspaper. He'll run home. He'll be like, Kemar, I thought of something for you. You could be doctor and comedian. <laughs> this was his big revelation. I go, Dad, I'm in my thirties. It is too late. It's not too late. Doctor and comedian. It can work. I go. You gotta do comedy full time if it's what you wanna do. It's a passion. You have to be ready and available for comedy. You have to be focused. He goes, You could be a urologist. <laughs> I'm a young man. I didn't even know what a urologist is. I had to Google it. It's a doctor for. I'm not, I'm not. There's too many nice people. It's a doctor for this area. It's a dual doctor. I go, Dad, why? Why do you think this? He goes, you have to be urologist and comedian. It goes hand in hand. <laughs> why would I be urologist? It makes no sense. He goes, urology makes sense for comedian. You make these noise people laugh. They jish their pants. <laughs> they pee pee in their pants. You give them your business cards. They see me in the morning. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for having me so far. It's been great, but I'm not done. Give me something. Thank you. So, comedians are not experts like the people in this room about economic issues, finances. I was here last year, and those of you who were here last year, if you follow what they said, you're very happy this year, aren't you? Oh, you didn't do it, huh? <laughs> These guys told you what to do. I was taking notes. I'm a stupid comedian. I'm like, okay, I gotta become my dad's second favorite son. I gotta do it. I invested in the S&P 500. It's way up. I invested in a few other things, and they're all up. But I don't know about that, so I let them talk, I listen. I know about social issues, because I'm touring the country, and I'm seeing social issues. I thought I'd talk about the United States 2018 social forecast. Are you guys ready to hear what's going to happen socially in America? Let's do that next one. Uh, this is going to be a great year because uh, according to all the newspapers, college graduates face the best job market in years. That's the good news. How's that? That's good for college graduates. Very good. Very good. 
here's the bad news. Uh, it's going to be with Uber. So they're going to... They'll have a job. And I'll help you get you yours, too. Do the next one. My grandmother taught me how to invest at a young age. She would put all my money, every time I made money, my grandma would say, take half, and she'd put it in American funds. And uh, that's a mutual fund company, and it was very smart of her, but it never did as well as all the other stocks, all those years. In fact, the ticker symbol for American funds is A-W-S-H-X. And look what it did. Every time I opened my statement, I would say, aw, shucks, which is exactly <laughs> the same as the ticker symbol. It makes sense. Let's show the next one. This is, this is a pie chart which reflects how many genders there's going to be at the end of this year, 2018. Way up, way up. It was two at one time, now we're at 347. You can pick your own tonight on the way out the door. We'll even make a new one for you. Let's show the next one here. Businesses are doing well. Anyone who wants to open a business just does it. I don't know why you would name it Busy Dick Studios. I don't think that's a good idea. In fact, I think dicks have been a little too busy in 2017. It would be nice if they were less busy in 2018. Am I right? Too many busy dicks out there. Let's show, let's show, this is the chart. This chart right here is actually very interesting. This, this blue line here shows you what the S&P 500 did in the last 60 days, which I love. It's a nice gradual growth, and I think it's gonna keep going right here. And this orange line reflects how many sexual harassment scandals we've had this year. <laughs> Let's show the next one. Well, we all know the S&P 500. I live in Hollywood. This is the S&P 20. The 20 creepiest guys in Hollywood. And uh, it stands for scumbags and perverts. That's the top scumbags and perverts. And they're all in my industry. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. If you're going to be involved in Hollywood industry, I think this is a good business for you. This is Kuhn Insurance. <laughs> My non-versions Kuhn is uh, back here, so you might want some Kuhn insurance if you're going to do business in Hollywood. You guys are such a great crowd, and I want to tell you, the sexual harassment is getting out of hand, and I, for one, have never been a part of it. Uh, well, there's reasons for it. First of all, I own my own company, and it's a one-man operation. I'm my company's only employee. So technically, I am guilty. I sexually harass my company's only employee every night before bed. <laughs> that stays in this room, some of you do that too. Uh, but, but we also, ladies, right now, ladies, you have the power. Don't put every creepy guy in prison that does something weird. Choose wisely, is all I'm saying. Because creepy guys actually make the world go round, believe it or not. I hate to stick up for them, but some of them, we, like, guys that get girls, Handsome, attractive men, they are not helping the world. Creepy, loser men are doing big things for us. Because once you reject them, they go home and work hard. And we need people like that. Bill Gates, for instance. Bill Gates, there's no way he was getting a lot of girls. <laughs> I guarantee in high school some girl broke his heart. He tried to make a move on her, she's like, no, and it's small, and she walked away. But he went home and he worked and he built his company bigger than ever. And he named it after himself, Microsoft. So that's what you have to look out for. You guys have been a great crowd. My name is Ping Thank you so much. And let's see where we're going to invest this year. Yeah.